There we go, I think. I think we're I think we're rolling. Light, camera, action. Good morning, it's uh, Monday morning and um, we got back from Greece yesterday. Uh, we were went to the island of Skietos, me and my family. We were there for a week and um, it's time to get back into the shed and do some shedding and preparing and all of that good stuff. And I need to reassemble my big board. So I figured that's what I'm gonna do for this week's video. So I'm gonna um, bring back my big Novo 24 pedal board and uh, reassemble it. So that's what we're doing now. Hey. So when you enjoy changing things out, a little bit of labeling goes a long way. This is a lifesaver. Slider, is that a word? There we go. I kind of wish, I mean, in theory it does fit. However, you get the vent holes there. I don't want to block them and I don't want to have it mounted sideways. Plus I would need to have the foot switch uh, pickle rick thingy for this one. So uh, sadly the BC3XL will have to stay home for now. Okay after a little bit of cursing uh, everything is where it's supposed to be I think. Okay everything powers up. That's good. I think let's just go like this for now. Yeah. The uh, G70 went into the right input, that's good. Now let's see, FX of number one is the LM1 and HD1, that's good. It's the Vintage Ultra. We're all hooked up and good to go. Great. Ah, what? If I'm back here, I'm in focus. It's all that decently, right? Okay, so everything is hooked up and good to go. Uh, time for me to practice keys and bass and, you know, all of those shenanigans. Um, my name is Eric and I play bass and build pedal boards, essentially. And uh, if you'll enjoy this video, hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. And I'll see you guys and gals and cats and dogs in the next video. Until next time, take care.